this is a way that you can make a slide that doesn't necessarily rely on arcs. You can make your shape follow a zigzag path if you want. You just need to be able to draw that on a surface that makes sense. And one way to do that is on a rotated rectangle so that it has a flat surface like a piece of paper to draw on. Here's how we do it. Go to the top of the same box that we drew this slide and use the rotated rectangle, the second tool in the shapes tool set. Click one time on one corner and let go. Click a second time on the opposite corner and let go and move away from the building so that, and you can change your orbit while you're doing this. It's staying live and active. So if you press down on the zoom dial, it'll change your orbit for you. Come on out here, make a long rotated rectangle like a ramp. And there you go. This is going to be our paper that we're going to draw on. Now, what do you need to draw on it to create a path? Right, the line tool, but not the straight one. Let's use the freehand line tool. So this is like literally drawing everywhere you go with this pencil tool. So pick an area where you want to start on the top edge. Left click, hold it down, and draw your zigzag slide right down to the bottom on edge and let go. Now, it's very important that you orbit around this and check it. So put your mouse on there and press orbit on your mouse just to check it, because sometimes it'll look like it's there and it's actually going somewhere else. And you're like, oh, that's not even on the surface. Okay, so now you want to get rid of this rotated rectangle and leave just this path. You could do that a couple of ways. If you right click this, like we found out with the other thing and we deleted it, you could do that and you could do it to both sides. But then you have to go around and delete all of these perimeter lines and just leave the middle. So what would be faster? Control Z, Control Z. Um, I suggest just doing the eraser tool. And if you erase with this little circle on the eraser tool, if you put it right on two lines, you can erase both of those lines in one shot. So that is twice as fast. Bang, almost. And now you're left with just your line that's going to be your path. Okay, now let's go to the top and do a circle again. You really could do any shape you want. Have some fun with it. But for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to do a circle like I did over here. And I'm going to go to the top of that. And, oh, I started pulling out a circle the wrong direction. Control Z is your friend. Undo that. Click on that. Pull out a circle. And now that circle is defined as having a line going right through the middle because it's half on the box and half off the box, but that's fine. It might work for a slide because now you go to the follow me tool and that's in your push pull tool set under your shapes. Follow me and watch what happens when you go to the bottom of that circle, it becomes dotted. You're ready to follow that half circle down that path, left click, hold it and pull it right down there. Sometimes you can go all the way to the end of the line. It'll do it automatically for you and let go. Here is your new slide, your new zigzag slide, as opposed to your curved arc slide. So those are both slides coming off the same form. Like you could build a water park and have all these different cool looking slides coming off of the same top. So you could build stairs up here, have people land up here on the top deck and choose which kind of slide they want to go down. That'd be fun. Now you want to get rid of the top, select it or right click it and delete it. Right click it, delete it, and now you're left with an open slide. Oh, I'm still in follow me. An open slide that you can actually look right up into. That's cool. And if you, um, hit that line, the path you originally had, you can